I want you to meet a man who is truly taking it black to the future. A Grammy-nominated rapper. He's uplifting black stories and black history and doing it for our youth with spoken word and hip hop. Take a look. My name is Fuge, and I make songs that educate, entertain, and empower. Skin color, birthplace, respect the ways we're all different. Yeah. I wanted to share the history that I wish I learned in school. The color troops help win the war, gave the proclamation new meaning. Yeah. So I combine my passions for music and for teaching with this catchy style that imparts knowledge in kids that they might not otherwise get. The trash on the land is not biodegradable. Better have it start at home, my dude. How you gonna clean up the earth if you don't clean your room? I know that this is my purpose because I'm able to tackle subjects like race, black history, self-love, in a three-minute song, make it danceable and teachable. Do you know the story of Juneteenth? When the enslaved and the takeaway is, kids walk away like, that was fun, that was hype, but I learned something. I wish that's where the story ends, but colonization is a sickness that spreads. I was meant to do this. So both of my grandparents are pastors, a couple of my uncles are pastors. I grew around these strong black male influences that had a way with words, and my parents have always been very encouraging. Teaching us about love, responsibility, and building our self-esteem. One of the first songs I did for kids was the Black History Song for Kids. And I showed this to a third grade class and they went bananas. They couldn't believe it. It was hip hop, it was dropping facts. And I was like, okay, I think I'm on to something here. My biggest inspiration, but also my biggest critic, is my daughter, Aura. You gotta walk, baby. Uh -huh. Look, as soon as she was born, I wanted to pour into her. I knew what I had to do, and I started making more songs than I ever had. So beautiful. And here with us, rapper, teacher, and social justice artist, Fuch is in the house. Fuch to teach. What up, man? Salute, King. Now, your, your real name is Harold. My real name is Harold. Yeah, <laughs> Harold Michael it. Simmons II, the that's junior. It. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me how you came up with Fuch. Okay, so my original artist name was Future, and you uh, already know there's how another that one out exactly. there. Exactly, <laughs> but I wanted to keep some similar because I believe that you know, just like we glean from our ancestors yeah. and the people who came before us, there's a lot of wisdom to learn from the past. Yeah. So it's like if you want to know where you're going, you got to know where you've been. Man, it's I kind say of that, that cycle all month yeah. long. That's why we say it's about black to the future. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's it. And. Because we're talking about that, like, we're talking about black history, and, and, you know, it can be controversial unless you truly understand what Carter G. Woodson was really trying to put forth. Exactly. Is where just really just the responsibility from what you actually just said is that it builds up a people when you know your roots. Exactly. And that's, therefore, our roots are your roots. Black history is everyone's history. It's everyone's history. Yeah, and, that, and, and a lot of that is in, in, in your message, and you actually say that, and... Tell me why you believe it's important, one, to teach those messages, but then at the same time, like, the process in which you do it. Yeah, so I'm really passionate about teaching the history that I wish that I learned in school. Mm. I was drilled into me these dates. Well, we learned all the presidents. Yeah. We learned the states. We learned about Italian conquerors yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. And when I was young, I kind of internalized this ideal. You would swear it was like black history started with enslavement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to dig behind that, really yeah. give that pride and that history. Indeed. And the kids get excited about it. You know, when you really see the human story, right, it's right. not all great, it's not all peaches and roses. Right, right. But kids can handle that. And giving them that complicated story and showing them this journey of humanity can help us not repeat those same mistakes, but can also empower them to show them what we can do. Man, you, you make know? it so simple. <laughs> I wish everybody else could just embrace it like that. Just say it's all of our history and it's yeah. just empowering. Now, speaking of empowering, you also teach spoken word, which I'm a huge fan of. Yeah. Tell me, uh, does, how, does that influence your music and everything with Ooh. your teaching and just the, the poetry words? Absolutely. So I started as a poet right. and then started doing hip hop. And then after college, things didn't go my career the way I wanted to. Mm. But I ended up working with a poetry in the school's program. Okay. And my mentor kind of showed me how to use my gift of music and entertainment in the classroom. Wow. And that kind of became something I didn't know was going to be a huge part of my purpose. Man, and it beautiful. keeps me young. It yeah. keeps me fresh. It keeps me the original. Kids love you know it. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back, exactly. Back. So, I mean, obviously, man. Took it as far as being nominated for a Grammy. Yeah, man. Man, and now, like, you're touching people with your, your words each and every day. What do you want people to take away from all that you 
present with your artistry. Raising the church, we're going to get biblical for a second. <laughs> I wanted to plant a seed. You already know? Yeah. wanted to plant a seed. want to get those conversations going, you know? Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. You see what I'm sowing? Exactly. You see what I'm exactly. sowing? Exactly. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, conversations with your family about your family history mm. or sparking an interest in a young kid to maybe learn about this myself, you know? Yeah. Go to the library, check it out. Type up something on YouTube in between that. Get the family talking. It's really an all-ages kind of thing. Man, and we receive it all, don't we? We we here having church today on live TV. Kiara done got the spirit lifted, and now we ready for you to get to, get your preach on. You ready, Pastor? Yes, I'm ready. All right, ready, he, about to, he about to bring it. Get ready to be entertained, educated, and empowered. Youth is sticking around with a special performance. I can't wait for it, y'all. We taking it to the next level. Yo, and everybody say. Welcome back, family. Everybody stay on their feet, because we about to turn up. We're back with Grammy-nominated rapper Future, who teaches black history in the school in ways that we've never seen before, through music, through spoken word. And you know what? He going to show us how to educate, entertain, and empower. Y'all ready to do this? Y'all make some noise for my man, Future. Get it. Everybody stay standing. Hands up, hands up. This is for the black women in history. Oh, black women. Civil rights leader helps register our people to vote during Jim Crow laws in the 60s. Back when blacks couldn't vote in this country, she paved the way for future politicians. Along with the first black congresswoman, Shirley Chisholm, Kamala Harris made history as the first ever woman elected VP. Uh, so many suffragists that fought for this, like Nashville's own J. Frankie Pierce, helped register thousands to vote in Tennessee and made a school for black girls in the 1920s. Could not have done it without the pioneers. Women fighting voters oppression for years like Stacey Abrams, Felicia Davis, so many women that name this why this is for the black women in history. Oh, black women in history. Black women in history, history, her story. Said this is her story. Black women in history. Love to the Queen Rosa Parks who didn't give up her bus seat. But real talk, there were so many women who did the same thing. Claudette Colvin, she was only 15. Arrested because she demanded respect. Refused to be told her life was worth less. Ida B. Wells had a similar tale. Many years before Rosa Parks went to jail. Uh, one of the founders of NAACP. Born a slave, she was freed in 1863. One year later, Rebecca Crumpler, first black woman with a medical degree. Jane Hill and Alfreda Webb, first women African-American veterinarians. Fast forward 2020, Dr. Kizzy helps to create COVID-19 vaccine. Black women, uh, black women, uh, black women in history. 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 Y'all keep it going for a few. Man, I love our people. <laughs> Yo, you yeah. can check out Future's album, Family Tree. Y'all go cop that. And that's such a beautiful album cover with him and his daughter right there. Man, salute what you do for our people, for the community. Keep it going for black to the future. Oh.